Alright guys, how is everything going? In this little video, we're going to be installing an oil cooler on my Eclipse. Um, I already have the, the 90 air-cooled oil filter housing, so this is going to be pretty straightforward. As, like, it's already installed in the car and I already have the stock lines um, looped. So all we got to do on the car aspect is unbolt those stock fittings and then replace them with these AN fittings and then once those fittings are in we can go ahead and mock up everything so I was gonna go with <clears throat> an eBay oil cooler and just try those out but luckily this new slash use BM um, legit STM oil cooler came up for a really good deal so I hopped on this. The only thing the guy actually used in the kit was these two fittings and that. And he did exactly what I did. He looped the, the oil cooler lines because he was breaking in a motor like me. And I don't know what happened. But anyways, he didn't end up using the oil cooler, which is right here. This is a B&M um, 24 roll, row, roll, 24 row oil cooler. And... Uh, stainless steel oil cooler lines and we have four 90 degree fittings. The only thing that kind of sucks about this kit is that I don't have the female ends to this so we're gonna have to go and figure out if we can buy these ends. They are these by the way. This is pretty much what holds the line to this as you can see. So we're gonna go see if we can find those female ends and if not, we're gonna go ahead and um, get this, these two ends crimped on the stainless steel line. So, yeah, that's all you pretty much need. If the oil cooler is already, I mean, if the oil filter housing is already on the car, but it also came with a gasket, which I don't need, and bolts, which I don't need. So, first things first, let's go ahead and um, uh, mock this up on the car see how much line we need to cut because this is supposed to be enough for two so I'm gonna have to measure and somehow cut it um, to you know be where I want it to be so let's go measure these lines and find a good mounting point for this oil cooler all right we're now moving on to phase two of this oil cooler install first thing you want to do is remove the bumper so you can get plenty of room to you know fixate the oil cooler what I'm thinking of is that's gonna be somewhere around here I just need to figure out you know best placement and how I should fab up these brackets and by fabbing them up I mean drill and bend pieces of metal so let's go get the oil cooler and start mocking things up all right guys this has been a total pain in the ass well anyways I spent about maybe the past three hours trying to figure out the best location to get this to mount on the car. And as you can see, this is the only way I can get it uh, to fit. So like, really, it's kind of crazy because at the angle it's at, but as you can see, I had to cut it up here and there. Like this is just like trial and error. I had it. I had it where these two were facing this way and that's the way I really wanted it but the bumper would actually hit it so that didn't work then I had them facing this way and I couldn't then this was hit it and then like the only way you can get this to fit and clear the bumper if is it if is I can't even talk right now is if you slant it like this at this angle so now I'm gonna have to run this line out and then loop it down into there and then that one straight to there so this is by far the hardest part trying to get it to work but I finally found my angle as you can see I got it one mounted there and then I have it L bracket to there and that's pretty much it and it's pretty sturdy so done with that and let's go make these uh, stainless steel lines Alright, so this is just a quick and easy way to make these lines. I honestly hate working with stainless. I wish I had just braided because stainless is so difficult to cut. So what you want to do is you want to tape one side like that and cut somewhere in the middle. So you can have a clean cut like this. 
that's not going to be, you know, protruding and everything. And then you're going to want to put this cap over this fitting as such and screw it down. So let me go do that and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, and you just get like an adjustable wrench and you can pretty much just tighten it down so you can see the hose coming to like that lip that's there and then that will help you make a better seal. So now you're going to oil this part of the fitting and then you're going to screw it in as such. So let me go do that and I'll show you the end result. And when you're all said and done it should look something like that. And then you just got to measure, you know, the length that you want to cut the other end to this one. And your final product should look something like this with both ends all said and done. <coughs> so let me go measure this other line and then we can finally put the finishing touches on this. After your lines are all made and done, you can go ahead and drain your oil and install your fittings. Make sure you get new uh, copper washers. And then once those are torqued down, you can just go ahead and uh, start placing your lines. So I'm gonna let the oil drain, take off oil filter housing, hook up these lines, and I will catch you when I'm done with that. And once everything is finally done and installed, piece of crap, um, you wanna go ahead and uh, turn on the car to make sure you got no oil leaks. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you just wanna watch your fitting, make sure nothing is leaking. That was from the oil change I just did, so don't worry. You wanna look there, you wanna look there, you wanna look here, and such. Make sure nothing's coming out. nothing so we look good to go all right ready for the dyno tomorrow <laughs> <laughs>